Now join me as we read Swimmy by Leo Liani. About partway through the book, you're going to move like the ocean animals. Get ready! A happy school of little fish lived in a corner of the sea somewhere. They were all red. Only one of them was as black as a mussel shell. He swam faster than his brothers and sisters. His name was Swimmy. One bad day, a tuna fish, swift, fierce, and very hungry, came darting through the waves. In one gulp, he swallowed all the little red fish. Only fishy escaped. He swam away in the deep, wet world. He was scared, lonely, and very sad. But the sea was full of wonderful creatures, and as he swam from marvel to marvel, Swimmy was happy again. He saw a Medusa made of rainbow jelly. Let's be the jellyfish that Swimmy sees. Stand in mountain pose, reach up high with your arms, and forward fold your tentacles flowing in the water, and let your body wave around and flow slowly in the water. A lobster who walked about like a water moving machine. Come and be the lobster that Swimmy sees with me. We come into table pose on our hands and knees and we reach out our pinching arm. Pinch, pinch, pinch. Try your other arm. Pinch, pinch, pinch. Strange fish pulled by an invisible thread. Now let's be those big strange fish that Swimmy saw. They were much bigger than him. We better make our bodies into big fish. Come down all the way onto your tummy. And we're going to make a big fish by lifting our arms and our legs and swimming through the water. A forest of seaweeds growing from sugar candy rocks. Now let's be that seaweed that Swimmy sees. To be seaweed, we're going to stand straight up in mountain pose, raise our arms up, and fold back, back and forth. We are seaweed waving in the water, back and forth. An eel whose tail was almost too far away to remember. Oh, let's be the eel. We're going to come down on our tummies like this. And we are going to push up gently, staying on our elbows and raising our heads. Slither snake through the water. and sea anemones who looked like pink palm trees swaying in the wind. Now to be a sea anemone, we are going to stand tall in mountain pose. Then we are going to lean onto one leg and we're going to hold that very strong while we lift up the other leg. You can balance here if you want, or you can turn that out on your calf, and you can raise your arms up like a sea anemone in the water. Happy sea anemones. Then, hidden in the dark shade of rocks and weeds, he saw a school of little fish just like his own. Let's go and swim and play and see things, he said happily. We can't, said the little fish. The big fish will eat us all. But you can't just lie there, said Swimmy. We must think of something. Swimmy thought and thought and thought. Then suddenly he said, I have it. We are going to swim all together like the biggest fish in the sea. He taught them to swim close together, each in his own place. And when they had to learn how to swim like one giant fish, he said, I'll be the eye. And so they swam in the cool morning water and in the midday sun and chased the big fish away. <laughs>